Hey guys, welcome to our next Let's Play for Witcher 2. I'm going to talk Felipe Earhart about Triss. Um, we just watched Stennis get killed by the peasants. Let's see what's going on. Uh oh, cutscene, something's gonna happen. I guess I'm gonna walk right in. Oh! I'm an asshole, I just kinda walk in. And I'm smarmy looking. That's kind of annoying. I tried locating Triss, but the mist disrupts the megascope. There's a weak signal nearby, probably on the other side. In the Kedweni camp? You'll have to pass through the mist. I'll go then. I gotta There's get no Triss. To I'm continuously scanning the battlefield. I'll show you the way through. I'll find you when you enter the mist. Farewell then. Yep. Gotta go find Triss. She's the most important thing at the moment. Okay. Uh, do I go through her house to get to the mist? Is that what I'm doing? Oh, hey, I'll search. Orin, some Orins. Hey, there we go. Oh, look at that. Hey, Cynthia. I'm trying to learn something about the wild hunt. Very interesting phenomenon, like all mysterious things. Willing to share what you know? Well, I would be. Provided you found the notes of Morton Collis first. He devoted almost his entire life to researching the hunt. We could go into detail if you had his scribblings. I found the notes, right here. I found Morton Collis's notes. So, let's see what you've learned. Well, there are a few documented facts. But Collis notes the existence of plenty of myths and legends. Very true. Where shall we start, then? The direction of the huntsman. Let's just start at the top. First and foremost, Collis studied the hunt's movement. Oh, it's well known that the wild hunt moves north to south. Never in the opposite direction. That's what I remember. And Collis's research confirms it. I'm just having trouble understanding why that is. The retinue's trajectory brings it into our world at the North Pole. Thus, once here, the wraiths can only move south. Collis claims the hunt's appearance can be predicted by observing the Orcan Nebula. And eclipses affect how often it appears. In any case, it arrives on the winter solstice, though not necessarily every year. Collis calculated that the hunt slips into our world in those years when the nebula is in the eastern sky. When I pursued the hunt, I passed through many abandoned villages. Well, the wild hunt abducts young people. What for? The wraith might need workers, warriors, or meat. Collis seems to favor the slave theory. What's the sorceress's take on the hunt? The topic makes them uneasy. Since the Council and Conclave banned the use of mind spells, the wild hunt has been a taboo topic. There's some link between mental spells and the cavalcade? Both addle the brain. Anyone who has come in contact with the Wild Hunt has experienced mental instability that either takes the form of insanity or amnesia. You see, the wraiths emit a magnetic field that severely distorts perception and impedes brain functions. Oh, that would explain it, why I'm all messed up on memory. People say the Hunt's appearance is an omen of war. In our times, wars are so frequent we might even consider flights of honking geese as their harbinger. The hunt traverses our world in winter. Wars usually break out in spring, but only because rulers wish their soldiers to die in battle rather than of cold. Let's summarize this, baby. Let's summarize. Based on his observations and calculations of the wild hunt's movements, Collis arrived at two equally important conclusions. The first was that the hunt is made up of knights who perished in various worlds and have reconvened as a retinue of vengeance. His second hypothesis states that an unknown, extremely powerful force multiplies wraiths, whose task is to travel between worlds in search of slaves. Both theories seem probable. Each time someone runs into the hunt, <coughs> the wraith's magnetic field causes their mind to descend into chaos. By inference, another meeting with the hunt and its field should reverse the effects of the first. Perhaps. Someone who lost their memory or their mind on their first meeting with the hunt could recover either on the second meeting. But I'm afraid that's unproved. Anyone who has managed to escape the wraiths would rather die than meet them again. 
So, you can lose or recover your memory by meeting the Wild Hunt. Do you know something I don't? I have amnesia, but my memory's been coming back since a certain event. Since when? Since I killed a Spectre, the King of the Wild Hunt. Who are you? I'm Cynthia, a mage in training. Philippa is my mentor. My condolences. No need for that. True, she's a demanding mistress, but she can also be charming. Besides, she's the best there is, Witcher. She has no equals. Excepting, perhaps, the old elven sorceresses. You should see her cast spells. Light and graceful she is. Not like that old tart de Tanzaville. How much does a magic course cost these days? Just out of curiosity, how much does a magic course cost these days? <laughs> I'm certain you can't afford it, Witcher. Besides, you're too old. No matter. I have a few of my own tricks as it is. <laughs> you mean Witcher's signs? Hmm. <laughs> Philippa can conjure up the illusion of a garden full of flowers, fruit trees, and young elves of both sexes copulating merrily all the day. And the illusion is complete. The flowers have an aroma. The fruit and she-elves are juicy. Invite me over the next time she conjures up this garden. I'd gladly see it. Professional curiosity. Naturally. But I doubt Philippa's in the mood for complicated illusions. She focuses all her efforts on Saskia. Do you know Sheila? You know Sheila? I've seen her cast spells. I've seen all the great sorceresses at work. Sheila's quite manly in her style. Precise, logical, exceptionally composed. But she lacks grace and suppleness. Is that your opinion? Or are you just repeating what Philippa says? We agree in our assessment. Triss Marigold, on the other hand, is talented. But she lacks determination, courage, and a certain cold willfulness that seems necessary. That's interesting. Kira Metz and Margarita Lo Antiel are both blasé, seemingly resigned. One's a hedonist and nymphomaniac. The other cares only about her school. They lost enthusiasm for magic long ago. Then there's a Francesca Finderbear. Nobody really knows what the old she-elf is capable of. But she's clearly very powerful. I take it Philippa has none of these flaws, but she must have some weakness. Ambition. Infinite. Boundless. And burning like the Korath Desert. All right, I guess we'll wrap that up, guys. We'll tell her to take care and move on to the next thing. Go into the mist. All right. Go into the mist. No other doors out, so I have to go outside. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, let's find a way out, guys. I will see you when I get to the other side of the mist. Or get to the mist, at least. Okay, guys, here we are at the mist. We're going to go through, and we're going to find Triss. I want my girlfriend. Where is she at? Here we go, guys. Mist. I do have to say, the graphics are way better on my new TV. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... Oh, hey, there's um, Philippa. All right, Philippa, lead me the way. Take that. I'm just going to hang out with Philippa. We're going to just cross the mist, have fun. Um, I might fast forward through this, guys, just because if it's like the other time, it'll be boring. Oh, hey, oh, 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 kill him below. Check that out. Yeah. Okay, guys, we evidently got through the mist. That was kind of a long, boring session of mist fighting. So uh, let's see where we're going to appear now that we're done with that. Um, bye, Philippa. Are you leaving me? What's going on there, woman? I can go no further. If Deathmold senses my presence... How will I get back to Vergen? I'll wait nearby. Hurry! Alright. Oh, here we go. Cutscene. Point of view of the dead body.
Oh, that's kind of creepy. Kind of a creepy statue thingy. Don't know what the hell that's about. Oh, Mike is being choky. I knew it. Damn, I knew it was you. When the mist started whirling, I told the boys it's Geralt of Rivia, or well, my name isn't Vernon Roach. Friend of yours? Just found him. He was already dead. Interesting. Dressed like a Vigeni. You almost made it through the fog. What's your business here? I'm looking for Triss. Triss is somewhere nearby. Still looking for your sorceress. If she came here, I'd know about it. Help me. Roach, it's really important. Only you can help me. Now you want my help? I'll gladly return the favor. Uh, oh, wait. You did nothing for me. Really? You made your choice. Fled with the elves while Vess almost died at that horse in Laredo's house. Is Vess all right? What do you care? We could have all died while you played at being a squirrel. I'm not one of your men, Roach. I didn't betray you. I didn't say that. But you thought it. You and your men against the whole world. Those not on your side are against you. Don't you care about Voltaire's death? Of course I do, asshole. All? The assassin kidnapped Triss, remember? Help me find her and I promise I'll keep the word I gave you in the dungeons of Lavalette Castle. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Right. If Triss is anywhere in the area, it can only be one place. At the rear, near the riverbank, the Nilfgaardians have set up their camp. Nobody can enter it. You can get there either via some caves or by sneaking through the main camp. I'd forget the gates. Believe it or not, the whorehouse is where you need to go to enter the caves. The ladies thought they'd use that passage to service the knights and nobles. But some monsters have their lairs there. If you've had your fill of whores and monsters, to the east there's a path that leads along the riverbank. That'll get you near the canteen. You'll have to sneak the rest of the way from there. Thanks, Roach. Hey! I'll hold you to your promise. That's fine, buddy. I don't mind going through the horrors and monsters. That's fine. Leave me alone. Oh my god, are you going to whine like a bitch? Okay, guys, I think I'm entering the horrors camp. Camp followers are awesome. Well, well, a wit how can I All right, talk to me. I wanted to talk. We're no strangers to the art of conversation, but it'll cost you just as much as a good plow. Fine. Sounds all right. Ask away, then. What would you like to talk about? Heard of the Virgin of Edern? Hasn't everyone. Any thoughts? Oh, yes. A maturing woman like that never been plowed. Her head's bound to be muddled. We'll have peace when she drops her sword to grab a nice healthy prick instead. Okay. I need to get inside the camp. Unnoticed. That'll cost you more than straight plowing. I'll pay you. That's fine. Hmm. That seems satisfactory. We've an underground passageway leading out to the riverbank within the camp's confines. Thanks. Although we've not used it for some time. There's something down there. Something evil. Horrible. I'm sure I'll manage. The entrance is inside the tent. Okay, jumping down, guys. We're going to find out what's going on. Yes. Where is Triss Marigold? This is the whole purpose of my quest, to find my girlfriend. Is that a troll? If it's a troll, maybe I can talk to him. Or it's a Bovagor. Bolagor. Whatever they're called. Whoa! Damn it. Okay, dude. You're just gonna have to die. I've been practicing, got a lot of damage ability, been reading up on things, and I'm just gonna ream you a new butthole. Like that. Oh yeah, kinda like that. Oh, there we go. All right, guys, new quest phase. We're Get into the Nilfgaardian camp. Efkir Nordling, where do you think you're going? To see the ambassador. With all that steel on your I back? I guess I'll go unarmed. 
I'm here for Triss Marigold. Shh, shh, shh. Hen sign. West side. Drop your sword, warlock. Now. I'm not looking for trouble. Shillard Fitz Estelin is waiting. Let Nara Ravnavad head now. Seriously? Garrot. I'd hoped we wouldn't meet again. We caught him sneaking through the camp, Excellency. We disarmed him. Esther Garamnit. He tried a charm on us. I remember you telling Faltes you'd like to return to hunting monsters. I'm looking for Tristo. Triss Marigold was kidnapped. Faltest's advisor. I heard she arrived at Vergen and hoped we would meet. But if she was kidnapped... Now I understand why you couldn't just stand by. But there are other reasons, too. They told me you were in league with the Skoetel. With Jorveth himself, no less. Is this true? More or less. Have you heard of the slaughter of Enshe at the ravine of the Hydra? The kings of the north effectively forced the Empire to condemn and execute the war criminals of the Vrai Head Brigade. Yorveth was among those condemned. I had not known that. A flashback! It's been a while since I've had this one. September 13th, 1269, the Ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. Tired. February 24th, 1270, the high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270, the Ruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals. All between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. Memories are awesome. Amusing that the Skyatel believe the Emperor betrayed them. In fact, the kings of the north demanded the massacre at the ravine of the Hydra. Do you feel well? I feel fine. I'm sorry. I can't give you more of my time. The long road to Loch Muin awaits me. The council and the conclave are waiting, and Triss Merigold, as always, arrives in the nick of time. What are you talking about? The figurine. He must have it on him. What's the meaning of this? I want to introduce someone to you. This is Vandemar, my personal sorcerer. He sensed Triss approaching our camp, though she was to arrive in different company. That was an ugly figurine anyways. <gasps> oh. Before you die, Witcher, would you be so kind as to explain how you got your hands on this figurine? I found it on a man's corpse. And you finished his mission for the Emperor's glory. Triss will help us find those wenches that betrayed the Empire. I don't know whether you killed Tarvig or found him dead. It's irrelevant now. I'd prefer not to sentence to death a man previously pardoned by the Emperor himself. Unfortunately, I have no choice. Vanamar, once you're done with him, convey my congratulations to Cynthia. Leading Philippa Eilhart up the garden path is oh, no small feat. Oh, that bitch. Farewell, Witcher. 
Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I've been betrayed, and so has Philippa. This is a good place. Are you ready, Geralt of Rivia? I am. I am. I prefer to face you in combat, but that oh, cannot can. be arranged. Oh, it can, buddy, and it's gonna happen. Roach! Oh, and Vess, you're kind of hot. Oh god, I'm gonna owe Roach now. Just like the good old days. Having killed an elf guardian for years. I knew you'd get in trouble. You have a talent for getting me out of it. Shillard has Triss. He's taking her to Loch Muin. Now I understand the commotion. Ambassador Shillard kidnaps Foltest's former advisor. This stings horribly, Geralt. It would seem the North Guardians want to be present at the Conclave's restoration. What will happen at Loch Muin? Apparently, a lot more than I thought. Sheila managed to locate the killer's hideout. They were hiding nearby in the gullies. Deathmold sent his men there, but Foltest's killer fled. Two other witches were covering him. One was taken alive. Before he died from torture, he revealed that our bruiser went to Loch Muin. The mages want to resurrect the Count Triss. Nilfgaard, Radovid, a bunch of mages and the Kingslayer. Too many eggs in that basket. One more thing, Roach. I have to go back to Vergen. Philippa may know something more about Triss. It won't be easy. The camp's in uproar. I bet you mauled somebody while breaking through to Shillard. Could be. Right. We'll pretend you're my prisoner. I'll get you out of here, but remember, our goal is Foltest's killer. I'll remember, Roach. So, ready? Okay, Roach, lead me out. Let's go, Roach. Come on, Roach, get me out of here. Maybe I'll join up with you again. Bloody idiots. How many times have I told you? His Highness wants you ready to fight in the game. Go on, you. That means you don't get our souls every day. Footman Glenn was stunned. There's an intruder in the camp. Then find him in the face. Feel my boot up Hit him in the face. Faster, Kerr. Go on, you. Who goes there? Vernon Roach. I've got a prisoner. What kind of freak is he? The king ordered him questioned outside the camp. Outside, eh? <laughs> well, don't let me keep you then. Thanks for everything, Vernon. I owe you. You never cease to owe me. Remember my proposal. Okay, well. Now we're going to talk to Philippa because, you know, honestly, we're close to being done with this phase, I'm assuming. Let's go find Philippa. Where is Philippa? You were betrayed by Cynthia. Damn, damn woman. What is it with women? There we go. Finally, you're back. Where is Triss? The Nilf Guardians have taken her to Loch Muin. What? They cast a spell on her, turned her into a figurine. Artifact compression. They must have a powerful mage. They had. Without him, Shillard won't be able to lift the spell. However, Loch Muin will be full of sorcerers. That's not all. They got Triss because of Cynthia. Cynthia? She lied to you. Back to Vergen. At once! Does it mean we get the cutscene back to Vergen? We don't have to go through the battlefield again? Again? God damn it! Sorry about my language, guys. I really do wish they had fast travel. I really wish they had fast travel. And the cat's freaking out on this stuff. I really wish fast travel was a possibility. This is one thing about this game. Drives me nuts. Is the fast battle. Okay, guys, we got out of the mist finally. That was kind of an annoying pain in the ass, is what it was. Okay.
Let's go talk to Philippa. We'll um, wrap this up after we do that, I think, because... Okay. Pardon me, guys. Okay, I'll see you at Philippa's. Okay, guys, here we are at Philippa's. Let's go inside, take a look, talk to her, get this wrapped up. The plague. They were so foolish. Cherish this rare moment, Witcher. Philippa Eilhart's been had by a cheap Nilfgaardian bitch. When I find her, we'll have it out like never before. She'll regret her mother didn't abort her. Wait. The Rose of Remembrance is gone. Not necessarily. That viper, Cynthia, was in a hurry and left her bric-a-brac. Ah, yes. Here it is. Triss Merigold's Rose of Remembrance. Time is running out, Geralt. This flower is dying. Then what are we waiting for? Leveling up. Okay, let me fix this up and then I'll figure out what we're going to do and then I'll end it. Okay, guys. Let's start the mission and we'll head out. You wanted to discuss something. Okay, magic artifact. You said I needed to find one. Let's do the start of this and then I know what I'll be playing next time. You said we'd need a magical object to cure Saskia. Any ideas where I might start looking? Magical items do not grow on trees, as you know. Luckily, this area has a long history. There's the Battle of Wraiths, the site of Sabrina Glevesig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. I was hoping you'd be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod, but please try to be a little inventive. Ask the locals, that's always a good place to start. I dare say Alderman Burden knows every last stone in the area. Maybe you should see him. Okay, guys. Um, hunting magic starting, so I'll wrap it up here. I don't know how this, how long this Let's Play will be, because I think I'll be cutting a lot of this stuff out. Um, I hope to see you next time for Hunting Magic, and until then, take care. The site of Sabrina Glevesig's death and suffering, the abandoned mines. I was hoping you'd be specific. I won't ask you to traipse around with a divining rod.